Hi! Hi are you? So today we have Angie in the house. Woo -woo. For those who know Angie from my former workplace, I'm sure. You know, Angie was the person like whenever they saw Angie. <laughs> people just whenever they saw me. Yeah, people is just you used to be so happy. Like whenever we had a party, they wanted me to invite you because she always have this energy. Yeah, so my energy around, you know. So yes, those are kind of my friends, you know. So uh -huh. um if you watch there's a time I did a video on um my last story time, I spoke about losing my friend. So, Angie was the one who took me. Angie was that friend of mine who took me when I was trying to run away from home to meet that other friend of mine who passed away. So, yeah. So, yes, meet Angie. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Yes, so, today yes. we're going to talk about situationship. It's story time. Yeah. So, grab some tea. Yes. Oh, we have hours. Like, Angie's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Today. So, yeah, I've been introduced. Mm. Cheers, fam. Has to you, but it's very hot. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we can start by defining what a situation is. So, situation according to me, I think is um, situation is uh, you're not in a relationship, you're more than friends. You're not, you're not friends, you're not, you've of course moved from the friends bracket, so you're more, more than friends and you're not in a relationship, so you're in between, you know, that's situation according to me. Aha, uh -huh. according to me, it's a relationship that hasn't been defined on what you guys are. Yeah, so we've all been in a situation. Maybe you're watching this and you've also been in a situation before. So you just want to talk about the things that when you feel like that or maybe when you start noticing some things, you just know you're in a situation. So first things first, I think when the guy doesn't introduce you to his friends, or the family or just people around him yeah. just know my friend you're in a situation because why would he not want to if you're this special person to him or maybe even the girlfriend yeah. and i'm not just talking about guys <laughs> but <laughs> even if you're a chick, chick yeah. you're a man who the girlfriend has not introduced to the friends or even the family something like that and you've been in a you think you've been in a relationship for like two years or three years just know sweetheart it is a situation there is no relationship there <laughs> cool. Already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. When to know when you're in, in a situation ship is this relationship you guys haven't defined it. What are we in the relationship? Like you keep on asking yourself. Yeah. As in you well, keep on asking him, he gives you excuses. You keep on you keep, as in you keep on asking her, she gives you excuses. That's a situation what? ship, my friend. But most of the time you find that ladies, men won't ask the ladies what are we. Yeah. The ladies, Usually the ladies are the ones who ask asking, the men. Asking, yeah. Who are we? Who are we? What are we? Yeah. Whom are we? Whom are you? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> is it we? Yeah. <laughs> is it we, we, we? Yeah, so just know you're in a situation, I think. Because mm -hmm. uh, the moment you even start asking that question, it just gets complicated. It's complicated, yeah. It's not a relationship at, at all. At all. Kwanza unashindo kiuliza it and every time. Moment of one year, not a dream. I'm dreaming in a relationship. Maybe you're just like a friend, you know, the one that he calls Actually, and chills with. With Netflix, Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I want, I want, let me, let me get, let me get to my second point. I'm referring to my book, of course, my YouTube book. So if you want to know if you're in a situation, ship is when you're, not, you're, you're this guy and you guys never get to talk about the future. I've been there once. I think twice, maybe thrice. <laughs> yeah, but there's a, there's a guy I used to date, and we never, never even used to talk about the next month. That's how. <laughs> that's how bad it was. Like we wouldn't even talk about plans for next month. It was just happy, happy to, happy, happy to, like just for today. You are yoloing, like. <laughs> Does that make sense? But yeah, like there was nothing about even. You see, people talk about. Sometimes they have these pillow talks and talk about. Um, yeah, maybe I want three kids. The future. Oh, Hi. Okay. Uh, my next point will be: you guys never go on dates. <gasps> you never go out. Actually, I remember one. You never go out on dates. As in Muko too. Hi. Where are you? Come to my digs. You ando out in. Hi. Can we chill today? You ando out in. Okay, I'm feeling. I'm, Ama, feeling, I'm feeling so sad about this. Okay, Liza. Okay, Liza. Can we go out for coffee? Maintain. Can we go out for a movie? Maintain, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. I'm feeling. I'm. I'm looking like this because I was there, and I think it was this year. 
it lasted for more than six months. Wow. It started last year towards the end. Mm -hmm. And I never saw the guy even wearing like long pants. Like it was always short. You see the way people just and very yes, <laughs> yes and vest maybe they just and a hood. Yeah, and a hood and, and crocs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, oh, yes. Man, oh, man. crocs. Yes. <laughs> So, like most of the time it was just saying that meeting at our parking lot, he dropped something or maybe I was going to pick something from where he was on. I mean, it was just, there was no date at all. And it got to a place where by the guy was like, uh, I won't say that because he didn't know himself. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't want him a to question. know. Why do women, if you've gone for like six months without that tradition being defined, why do you insist on going on as women? I stopped. Mm -hmm. See, I, I at least, at least, I'm a woman and I stopped. Like okay. after that, I just stopped and I would, like I stopped texting. Cause relationship is just you do everything that people in a relationship usually do. Mm -hmm. You call late at night. You talk. You text. When you have an issue, this is the first person you tell. When they have issues, they, they tell you. They, they be the first yeah. to tell you. Be the first person they call and tell. You know. So. I stopped and I started by reducing the number of calls I used to make and I just told myself I don't want to hurt myself because I've been I was in a situation before and I didn't want it to go the way go this the way was because that's what I saw because it wasn't defined from the word go and we got things got mixed up in between because of course you like the person they like you and then you know before yeah. you know it you guys are maybe somewhere in the bedroom who knows wow <laughs> yeah so I just said no to it and stayed away when you when you discover that by the guys just run away. away. I know it's hard, but Kimbia. <laughs> <laughs> Another way of knowing that you're in a situation ship is when the guy doesn't post you anywhere. The era that you're living in right now, social media has become so powerful and it's like it's part of us, you know. We most of the time even in relationship, of course you get to talk to someone on WhatsApp or maybe Instagram, you get to DM, all those all these things. So if you, you think you're in a relationship with someone and they've not posted you like anywhere you go you travel to places take pictures but not even like they don't they post nothing, nothing on you like even your how could instagram i talk go anywhere yeah and you on your page it's booming with bye baby b as in you know yeah. like, <laughs> insta story apple <laughs> yes. yes and you you just know nowhere why and this guy is active of course and you're saying something like um there are some men who say that they're not active or not on, on social media, like um, Siko Facebook, Siko Instagram, Siko, mm. Siko. But yeah. is it true? And they say that Siko, like, but you know, I'm going to talk Tinder, my friend, because you could swipe left, swipe right. See <laughs> <laughs> that, just know your relationship and just, I don't know, just get out of it. If okay, Pepper. Some say, some say that they don't like PDA, like putting it on IG, IG like yeah. you know, even on profile page. Even on relationships, some yeah. people say that they that don't post things like that. that. Okay, I know, I understand, but the world that we're living in right now, I think if they've never, even on your birthday, Sultan, like just sure, even on your birthday, so <laughs> <laughs> like Ali's birthday last week, so I hope the man posted something. <laughs> If, if you're the man and you're watching by the way, okay, I'm on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'll, go check. Check. <laughs> I'll go check, I'll go check. So my next point is, mm -hmm. your means of communication is through texting alone. Yeah, I'm going to keyboard warriors. Keyboard warriors. Who can call? Ashiki. And oh, Sayo, yeah, coming to think of and it. And Sayo, you're calling this guy and he's online, my friend. He's not picking up. You guys are keyboard warriors. Keyboard warriors, Mumeiva. Mumeiva, my dear friends, Mumeiva. Situation ship, Nyo Yeah, Situation I, think, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Your just, means of communication is just through texting. What does it like? Does it mean that they never get time to call? call. Or maybe there's someone else? There's someone house? else in the house. We normally think like that. It's like married men. They give you rules. Oh, Please yeah. don't call me at night. Oh. <laughs> Married men during the day. That's Just another topic. You like that's nonsense. another topic we'll talk about. Yeah, married, married men. men. Yes, we will talk Please. about that. The way we need to talk about that. I think topic. when you get to a certain age, you become more attractive. Attractive to married, to married, men. married men. Yeah. Yeah. Like they see you and they just see like they, they've seen some gold, you know. Yeah. 
And then when you're living, and you, this is a topic for another day. Especially when you're living alone, <laughs> you know you have all your life together like this, and then they see you, they're like, mm-hmm. "This is a house they can actually go and." But this is a topic for another day. Not, not yeah, now. this is not a topic Today for another day. Today situation shit. Yeah, so yeah, keyboard warriors. Because when you're in a relationship with a married man, I think it's obviously a situation shit. What do you expect? Way, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> That's a true definition okay. of a situation. If dating married men, yeah. <laughs> if you're one kind of person, like if you're a chick or a man, that whenever they ask you, are you seeing someone, are you dating someone, and your answer is always no, uh, no, it's yes or no, May, oh no, maybe, maybe. Uh-uh. yeah, that's right. There's nothing like that. that. It's like either that. yes or no. no, not maybe. Yeah, we are, we are in, we are out, Mm-mm. guy. I mean, like chick, please just know you're in a situation. Chick. Yes, please. Yeah. When they want. Whenever they want. They are the ones Actually, we had the even shots. given out that point. Yeah. Well, then in Guinea. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay, so my next point would be it's convenient for them. That's mm-hmm. when you know you're in a situation. Because you'll meet according to my plans or his plans or yeah. So let's say like today I want to see you. He'll be like, oh no, I'm busy. So him, when he wants to see you, he wants you to avail yourself, he or she. And that's like a kwe already. So I'm a culprit. <laughs> because I'm um, <laughs> this busy person and uh, most of the time I tell, if someone wants to meet me, I usually tell them, I'm busy maybe until 15th or 17th of September. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see me, I'll let you know when I'm next available. Yeah. So I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you. <laughs> For making you feel like we've been in a situation, but for real, I've been busy. Yeah, as in, you just make plans when it's convenient for you. You're not, as in, like, you're not even like creating time for the other they don't party. Create you time don't for care. You. Like, yeah, you just don't care about the other party. Yeah. You just do what's convenient for you and your Because in a relationship, people get to sacrifice yeah. and create time for each, each other. other. So relationship is usually when I'm available, that's when I come to see you. See you. So I don't create time for you. So mm. it is a situation. So my last point, and I think it's going to be our last point on this, is um, if the points that we've given out are hurting you, Mahali, <laughs> They're like they've, you know, they've gone mahali. Just mm-hmm. know you're in a situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just know you're in a situation. If yeah. they've touched you somewhere, for real, mm-hmm. you're in a situation. Guys, um, we've given you a couple of things that you need to take note of when you're yes. in a situation. Yes. So right now we're going to give you about the dangers of being in a situation. Yeah. And danger number one is. <laughs> having trust issues yes so you won't trust easily yeah getting in another in relationship, relationship. when you're about to start another relationship. relationship and then i think you'll also feel used yeah especially if they you used to do everything that a couple does meaning as from, in people in a relationship yes do. like one of the things that if you're in a situation you will end up being heartbroken so you better get out of it because i've been there once and it wasn't good, like the guy just dumped me over like on social media. Like I just not really dumping me, but I saw a picture of the guy, of a chick posted by this particular guy that I thought you were in a relationship with, but it was for another chick. The guy was there saying the way, Oh, thank God, finally I met the one I've been looking for and I thought I was in a relationship with this guy, but I was in it alone. So I was so heartbroken with someone who was never even dating me. Being as in time wasted. Yes. This guy has wasted your time. As in, I'm requesting your time, but I don't need your time yako anymore. I'm requesting yeah. time, time, time. For example, mm-hmm. even uh, even uh, when you're in a relationship, the guy or the chick can waste your time. You it, both of you waste each other's time. Let me just put yeah. it like that. If it doesn't go well, that well, is. that is yeah. Like me, uh, I oh, remember oh, no, mine. Hey, this relationship Ooh. for far good. Four, four, like that was, okay. Well, that's a relationship. Yeah, so as in, I took time to get to like start dating again. And then you'll have regrets. Definitely. Yeah, regrets. Regrets that you were being used. Yeah. Regrets that um, say I'm your time. As you start regretting the entire, like the entire thing. thing. Yes. Yeah. So, just stay away from situationships, you know. Go yeah, if a relationship hasn't been defined 
then just stick out of it by the way for as in you can just be friends the earlier you do it the earlier you do it the better the better don't be in a situation ship it's it's worse it's worse after yeah. for the liqua fwb's bus at least you're not joining me yeah you know what's going on yeah, and you know at, at least, least you know it all. if you start developing feel, if you start developing feelings from uh, fwb you just run away yeah because you know there's nothing that is gonna come out come out of it Though no, people get into a relationship from it, yeah, but most of the time those relationships don't work. Don't work, yeah. Okay, so lastly, my advice is, uh -huh. nobody is ever busy for you. It just depends on what you are to their priority list. Like if if you're not on the top priority, they won't meet you. Like they want, if they keep on creating, like giving you excuses why they can't come and see you. It's just, they're just giving excuses. Yeah. So if something is important to you, you'll definitely create time for it. Yes. If you're important to me, I'll definitely respond to your text immediately. Immediately. If not immediately, if I was doing something else, I'll definitely come back and attend and tell you, oh, I'm sorry, I've been doing this, this, and this, and then yeah. If so, I didn't reply your text immediately, it doesn't. It means you are not important. Out of anyone's manga of importance is life. <laughs> no, but okay. I think sometimes someone would have been working, doing something else somewhere, allegedly, like they're not that far away from Hey, but phone. there are those people like who are shooting in texting. When I'm shooting, when I'm shooting like this, of course my phone is somewhere else. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I'm shooting, like, for real. I'm not, I'm away from my phone. So that's. See, yeah, like, you need to create excuses. I'm not going to reply to your text. 12. On Monday. On Monday. I'm going to text 12. I'm going to reply at 12 a.m. Yeah. June. So guys, that's it. Boom! Thank you so much guys for watching and um, uh, it's always a pleasure doing this. And thank you Angie for coming. You're welcome. And uh, it's getting to... What? Wait, we only have a few days remaining and um, my goal for this month was to get to 300 subscribers guys. So please just make my dream come true by just, you know what Angie, please you can just tell them because I think Okay. Coming from someone else's mouth will be better. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Subscribe. Yes, yes, subscribe. Yes. Thank you so much. And for those who subscribe, by the way, thank you so, so much. And I do appreciate. And until next time, adios. adios.